Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing a bit of a get ready with me while I answer your guys' assumptions and questions as I haven't filmed in ages. Don't ask why I'm filming, I just got in that mood where I'm like, I want to do a YouTube video. Don't know how this YouTube video is going to go, but I'm just in that mood, in that mood to film. Um, and I thought, what's a great way to come back with questions so you can guys can get to know me a bit more? So yeah, let's get into the video. Make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I've got all the questions and then the assumptions on my phone. So let's start off with moisturizer. For moisturizer, I'm also gonna tell you which products I use as well. I'm going in with a Skin Pro Daily Savior Skin Restoring Cream. I usually use the, oh, it's, it's like a pink tub. Um, I usually use that one but it's ran out so I'm using this one instead. I actually love skincare. <laughs> Skin Proud skincare because it's so good. I'm also I'm also going to add in my Woody to Skin Food as well. Let's get into some questions while we rub it in. So this is an assumption. Someone's put your whitewash because you don't wear your natural curly hair. I don't class myself as whitewash but um, I can admit that I don't really wear my natural curly hair a lot. Well, I don't really have curly hair, I have like afro hair, but I don't really wear it a lot because it's very high maintenance, personally. High maintenance? Yeah. Um, and I just prefer having my hair straight because it's way quicker. Or like I have prefer having it in braids because that's that braids, they're so quick. Like I can actually wake up like 20 minutes before leaving house for school when I have braids. Like. I love having my braids for school because that means I can sleep in. But I'll admit, I don't wear my hair enough. But I did actually have it out for a bit. Well, a bit, like literally like a week and a bit um, in February. And I had it like that for like most of the week at school. So I do wear it now and again. And also, this is literally my favourite primer. I love it so much. It's literally from Primark as well. I want to try the Bobbi Brown one because I'm pretty sure it's a dupe for that. But so far... It's literally four pound. This this one. It's literally four pound, and it's so good. So another question someone's asked is, "Are you enjoying school?" And you know, I can't lie. I'm not hating school at the minute. Like I don't know. I used to go through like a phase. Like I think September and like January, I just really hated school. Um, like I don't enjoy school as a whole. Like I can't wait to leave. But right now it's not that bad. Do you know what I mean? Like you know when it there's spells of when school's actually alright. Like I haven't moaned about it in a while. Like I've got mocks coming up and I don't mind mocks. I hate to admit that I, I don't mind them. Cause I like the fact that we're not in lessons a lot. Like I hate like do you know what I mean? If you know you know but like I like not being in lessons because you like you should have like at my school we have like two mocks a day so that means we're only in lessons for one period and that means in the one period we're literally just revising i just don't like the stress of mocks though and i don't like the stress of school like but i just can't wait to leave i like even though i'm saying i enjoy it right now like i don't mind it at the minute i just can't wait to leave though i brought my mirror a bit closer because i genuinely could not see to save my life but now i'm going in with the elf halo glow and the giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation as a little duo these are amazing and i'm gonna answer an assumptions so an assumption is you get mild at nando's no i do not i'm sorry but at nando's if you do not get medium and above what are you doing like what are you actually doing i get medium personally i the thing is i hate to admit it i hate to admit it i hate to admit it but in like year seven i used to get plain well I've seen a photo the other day, it came up on my Snapchat memories. I'm gonna try to put it in if I can find the photo. If I can find the photo, I'm gonna put it in. If I can't find the photo, don't. don't. If I can't find the photo, then it's not going to put it in. But, um, and I got plain. Um, and I can only imagine how dry that was. Okay, so I'm looking a bit orange right now, but you have to wait until the foundation. Until I put the concealer on. Cause, and then at the end of the makeup, it'll all just come together. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, but the next question is, are you watching Love Island? Um, who is your favourite Love Islander? I am watching Love Island this year. And personally, my own favourite is Jessie. I love her. She's so cute. Like, so cute. And like, no, nah, this year's Love Island is just not really given. I'm sorry, I feel bad for Maya because like, she's really hosted. Like, it's her first year hosting Love Island and she's not got the best year. 
I feel like she would have really been good on last year's Love Island. Like, you know, with Tasha, Gemma and India with that year. I loved that year. I also loved the year before. The year before was... Was Faye. Yeah, it was Faye. I loved Faye's year really badly. Also, I'm going in with the Born This Way concealer as well because this one's more lighter, so it, like, highlights more. But yeah, if you guys are watching Love Island, who is your favourite Love Islander? Okay, so this next question I get asked all the time. Literally all the time. But I don't blame you, to be fair. But it's what subject did you pick for your GCSEs? For my, I can't lie, I regret some of my options so badly. Um, so I picked business. Also, I'm going with the Made by Mitchell blush. Um, I picked business, art, geography, and French. And then obviously you do like English, maths and all that. But anyways, I regret business so badly. So badly. I wish I did like DT and art. I don't think it's in the same block though. I don't think it's in the same block of options at my school anyways. But I wish I picked something like that. I just genuinely wish I did not pick business. Or even food tech. Well actually... Do I wish I did food tech? Hmm. But I just wish I did not pick business. I hate it so much. It's not like what I expected it to be. I love art. I love art. I love art so much. Obviously it kind of links in with my makeup. You're an OG if you remember my makeup videos. Because I haven't done makeup in Asia. I can't wait to leave school. Oh my god. I actually can't wait. I know I keep saying it. But I just can't wait. Like, I can't wait to say I know everyone says... You're going to regret saying that because life's boring after school. But I actually don't care because I just can't wait to leave. Okay, so let's pick an assumption. An assumption is you and Kaylin are just friends for the hype. Yeah, we are. We hate each other. We hate each other so much. We're just friends with TikTok, guys. No, I'm joking. I'm joking before people actually start instigating and thinking that's true. I'm joking. No, me and Kaylin are not friends just for the hype. Besties. I feel like filming this video has made me do my makeup so much faster and I don't know how or why. It's just I feel like I do my makeup so much more faster. Um, okay, so another assumption. <laughs> I wish I was making this assumption up, but the next assumption is that I've got a high body count. That is very incorrect. I literally have never had a boyfriend and... Well, I'm not saying you have to have a boyfriend to have a high body count, but I also cannot even get into a talking stage so no my i have not got a high body count whatsoever I haven't even got one so <laughs> i feel like this assumption kind of leads off with the other one and this one is your prego no i'm not pregnant <laughs> i don't know what else to say about that assumption but yeah i am not pregnant so i hope you guys don't actually think i am pregnant because I don't know i don't know where you get that assumption from anyways but yeah no i'm not pregnant so let's just clear that one up uh the next assumption is you have a bad replies i can't lie it really depends i've got good replies on imessage and like whatsapp um but on snapchat no not really i can't lie i'm not even gonna like lie like snapchat my replies are quite bad I don't mean for it to be like that. Oh, I've just messed up my eyeliner. Just messed up my eyeliner. Oh my god, my eye feels like it's watering now. Wait, give me a second, guys. I need to fix this. Okay, I fixed it. It's because my eyeliner went under my eye. But anyways, um, replies. Yeah, no. Um, I'm, I'm. If you message me on iMessage saying, "Oh, reply to my Snapchat," I'm gonna reply. Do you know what I mean? But on actual, I'm on. Oh my god, I keep stuttering. But actually, on Snapchat, I feel like with Snapchat, I feel like I've replied already. That's that's my problem. Okay, so the next question is going to be a very in detailed, long question because I get this asked all the time. But I feel like it's quite hard to type it, but it's also quite hard to fit in a TikTok. So let's just bring it to YouTube. So this question is, how did you start influencing? Okay, so, started in 2020? No, I'm joking, but um, I'm, so basically, I started in 2020 in lockdown. I got very bored and I just started creating loads of TikToks of me doing my makeup. 
because i used to do like hardcore like creative makeup i used to do like every day every night like on repeat like i still do makeup now and again but i just generally don't have the time recently oh my god my bronze has messed up my slick hair but um yeah so i used to do makeup like all the time and then um in i think it was 2021 um i hopped on the trend called the emoji like doing your makeup like emojis um and that video blew up and that's kind of where it started and then i got my first brand deal with netflix that's that was really cool and that was straight after my video blew up because obviously i gained followers and and then i carried on posting i gained more followers and my first brand deal was netflix and then like literally like a couple months after that i um and like a couple months after i found my manager um who i'm still with to this day still with the same management not switched um and she really helps a lot of me working with like brands that i really want to work with and stuff and helps me hit goals that i want to hit a lot of people ask me how managers work but so basically she gets me brand work and then obviously there's a brief you follow the brief and then you send over your video the brand likes it they'll say yeah then you post it and then whatever my manager finds like she'll find me a brand and they take 20 percent of the ah, they take 20 percent of the earning of that video i thought i'd explain that to people because i get a lot of questions on that like a lot of questions on my management like a lot as a question who would you like to collab with but i'm not sure if they're on about brands or like influencer tiktokers but I'm gonna do brands because I really, 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 really want to work with Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, I missed out the T in that, but I just love Rihanna and I just love Fenty Beauty is also a brand that I love as well. I used to their foundation, I used to use their foundation all the time and I use her lip glosses. Okay, so I've just quickly gone off camera and done my eyelashes and then before my camera dies, I'm gonna show you my lip combo. So recently I've been using the She Glam Glam 101 lip liner because I've run out of my Nova Beauty lip liner and I just overline my lips like this. And then I'm going in with Rosy Posy, the Made by Mitchell blush. I've just put that in the centre of my lips and I'm blending that out and then I go in with the Fenty Beauty Heat and this is the shade um hot chocolate heat and i just put that over this lip gloss it's actually my favorite the kiko lip gloss i don't know what shade it is because i peeled it off really dumbly and i just go over like that this is also one of my favorite lip glosses i love kiko lip glosses so much they're so pretty here's the final look guys Hope you guys enjoyed my little get ready with me assumptions and questions video. Um, make sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, add my Snapchat, you know the score, make sure to subscribe as well. I think I just said that, but make sure to subscribe. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Comment down some video ideas. I'm going to try to get back into YouTube ideas every time, but not going to promise anything. So yeah, bye guys.